Spider-Man No Way Home, this movie is getting crazy. It's getting insane. It's so exciting that this is introduced in the multiverse and I personally cannot wait for this movie. I haven't been this excited for a Marvel movie since Endgame and it's gonna be really awesome to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield because I have 100% faith that they're gonna be in it and that the multiverse is gonna be in it. I'm gonna break down a little bit more evidence in this video proving that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are gonna be in it. I'm gonna break down a plot leak as well, a crazy plot leak that I think actually has some credibility to it and could definitely be be true. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and as always, if you're new here, be sure to smash that like button. That really helps the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing as well. I post all kinds of nerdy content all the time. And with all that being said, let's get into it. The Atomic Fave. So this comes to us from comicbookmovie.com and I usually just ignore a lot of these leaks because to be honest with you, a lot of the time it's just really not appealing and they just come from some random Reddit user who just somehow knows the entire plot of the movie and it just, a lot of the time it just doesn't make a lot of sense and so I usually don't even talk about them but in this situation it's a little different. So this comes hot off the heels of Grace Randolph and her leak about there being two green goblins in the movie. She talked about there being one green goblin from the MCU who's actually a lot more of a nice guy, and another Green Goblin being William Defoe's Green Goblin from the Tobey Maguire universe. Now, that was a really interesting leak there. I'll post a card down below if you haven't seen that so you can watch that. But in this leak, it actually talks about kind of something similar. Also breaks down a lot more of the rest of the plot of the movie. Now, it comes from a Reddit user named Spidey Forever 245 who actually has a little bit of credibility because he revealed the surprise guest appearance in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode five. Now, I'll also link this article in the pinned comment down below as well. So if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and read the article yourself. But what this leaks talks about is actually a lot of interesting things that are really exciting. So I am just so excited for Spider-Man No Way Home in general. And I know that whatever the movie ends up being, it's going to be something big for the MCU and it's going to be really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and break down these plot points here. It says in the beginning, that there's a time skip. Peter Parker is in court and there's a lot going on to, as he's trying to prove his innocence. So he's obviously trying to prove his innocence and prove that he is not Spider-Man. I'm assuming that Matt Murdock will probably be in this scene if he's in the movie at all. This is gonna be where it's gonna be. It says the multiverse is breaking and there are villains from other worlds. Doctor Strange is trying to capture them and put them in a special prison he made. The villains somehow escaped because Peter messed with some magic to clear his name and it's now up to him to get back into the prison. Now, well, that's kind of sounds like something from the comics uh, that kind of sounds like the storyline where spider-man makes a deal with Mephisto in the comics I don't know if they would actually go as far as adapting the spider-man one more day story into the movie in some way but the only reason this makes some sort of sense is because the MCU likes to take elements from the comics so it says Tobe Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in the second and third acts of the movie there are some scenes with Maguire and Garfield on their own that's actually really cool so it sounds like they might be teaming up or something and they might have scenes alone where they're maybe be fighting the Green Goblin or Doc Ock, who even knows? Just the idea of all of this happening on screen is nuts to me, it still is. The movie's final act is on the Statue of Liberty that now looks like a big Captain America with the shield. The villains are all there, Holland, Maguire, and Garfield too. There was a Stark arc reactor the villains are fighting over. This kind of does sound like something the MCU would do, to be honest with you. It kind of does sound like an MCU storyline. And there are elements of this that are a little bit strange, like Spider-Man making some kind of deal to have his identity covered up again. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if that's actually something that would happen in the movie. And I don't know if the MCU really would adapt Spider-Man one more day. It was such a controversial comic story. I don't know. But it says all the villains except William Defoe's Green Goblin end up in that prison. The Goblin kills someone. I'm not sure who, but Tom Holland's Peter was crying and got so mad he tried to kill Goblin and very nearly did. Now this is the most exciting part of this whole entire thing because if they were to kill MJ, so if they were to kill Zendaya's character and have William Defoe's Green Goblin kill her. I don't know. That would be awesome if they were to somehow try to like squeeze in the adaptation of Gwen Stacy's death and have it be Zendaya and have it be Mary Jane or MJ or whatever her name is in the MCU. That would be really awesome to see and if they pull it off right it would blow the death of Gwen Stacy in Amazing Spider-Man 2 out of the water because that one was just it was so trash. This says the movie ends with Peter Parker finishing high school. It looks like everyone still knows he's Spider-Man by the end. I don't know how I feel about that. Seems like something Marvel would do though because I know they like to do 
I know they like to do these kinds of things where they just sometimes they just take turns that are like right out of left field, you know? But overall, this speak sounds interesting. I don't know how real it is. We're gonna see in time. I'm sure we'll see when the first trailers come out if a lot of these plot points end up being true. But I do have almost 100% certainty that this movie is the multiverse with Tobey Maguire, with Andrew Garfield, with William Defoe, with Alfred Molina's Doc Ock. All of these characters returning, maybe even Chris and Dunst, maybe even Emma Stone. Who knows? I think this might be the end game or the uh, multiverse introduction, the Spider Verse slash Avengers End Game. You know, just just the biggest Spider-Man movie of all time, really really so you guys comment down below let me know what you think about it let me know what you think about the leak and definitely like the video that helps the youtube algorithm consider subscribing as well i post all kinds of nerdy content all the time and if you're as excited for spider-man no way home as i am definitely hit that subscribe button because i'm going to be covering a lot more spider-man no way home content and until the next video be safe and stay well guys bye bye i failed my mission and now i'm working with the enemy and i can't even get that right